Hey everybody, this is Mark with Apple Tech 120. In this video, we're going to be checking out a $20 Wi-Fi range extender, seeing how good it is and if it is really worth picking up. So this device plugs into your wall outlet and it extends your Wi-Fi network by connecting to it. The theoretical maximum output of this device is 300 megabits per second, which is pretty fast, way under the speeds um, for most houses today. And this even has an ethernet port so you can go hardwired if you really want to. On the front, we do have a couple of nice things. There is a WPS quick setup button if your Wi-Fi supports that. There's also quite a bit of lights on it so you can know the ideal position to place this as well as activity, including whether or not your ethernet is actually plugged in or not. So you can get information at a glance. So Ethernet port is really awesome to have, but it's probably not what you're going to be using it for. You're going to be using it for Wi-Fi, and the biggest downside of a device like this is that it actually makes its own Wi-Fi network. So you plug it in, it connects to your Wi-Fi network, but instead of extending it, it actually makes its very own one. So you can name it whatever you want, but as you can see, it shows up as Apple Tech 128 EXT as an extended network. So you have to connect to that every time you want to use that extended network and it does not automatically do it. So for this first test, we are going to be using it in the same room, we're literally 10 feet away from the Wi-Fi router, seeing what speeds we get. And as you can see, it is already jumping around um, two and three bars, even though it is directly across the room. So signal strength on this is probably not that great. Now for our baseline, this is our office Wi-Fi. We should get it about 85. I don't know why it just dropped right there, but it should be about 85 down and six up. So now let's go ahead and connect over Wi-Fi using the extended network and see what we get. So about 33, maybe up to 35. And that's not that bad, but again, it's right across the room. And if this does go up to 300 megabits per second, we should not be seeing any speed differences at all. So that's interesting. Just for fun, I plugged in Ethernet and went without Wi-Fi, and we got slightly better speeds, not much, but it's still nowhere near the speeds that we should be getting, especially being in the same room as the router. Next, I took it down the hall to our other office, where we do seem to be having some Wi-Fi issues. It seems like that's just a little bit of a dead zone. So we pop this in, and it's showing anywhere from two to three bars and doing yet another speed test, um, we get some fairly disappointing results. It's only really going up to at most 15 megabits per second. And I really need more performance than that because I am going to be doing a lot of uploading from that room back there. So we've taken this downstairs and plugged it into the wall and it's kind of directly below the Wi-Fi router. Now, the Wi-Fi router is upstairs and it's kind of about where that light is right there. So you can get an idea of location. And um, it's actually not that bad. It's about the same as when it was directly in the room. And it's from around 25. So um, for being downstairs, it's not that bad, but I do get fairly good signal strength at that location. Finally, we're testing the worst location of all. This is my downstairs bathroom where I get like one bar of Wi-Fi. As you can see, it's struggling just a little bit to get a great signal, but it is um, kind of hopping up to full strength at times. So let's see what we get. And it's actually pretty good. So it's around 20. And again, this is nowhere near 80 or 300, but it's not too far off from the one that was right in that room. And the really only bad location for this is back in that other room. So should you really go out and only spend $20 on a Wi-Fi range extender? No, this does not give you the best possible performance. It says 300 is not 300, and I should be getting at least 50, if not more, to be happy with this thing. Now, it is only $20 and it does lack a couple of features. If you're looking for one that's higher performance, I would recommend getting one that has 802.11ac with five gigahertz. This one only is N, so it can max out at a lower speed than a more high performance one. The Ethernet port on this is also fast, meaning that it goes up to 100 megabits per second, which is fine for internet, 
But if you are wanting to do data transfer to a server on your local network, this is not going to be a good option. You're going to want something with gigabit speeds. But for $20, you really can't complain. I would actually prefer getting an Apple Airport Express for $100. And that really, truly does extend your Wi-Fi network rather than making a duplicate one. But there you go, that is our video on a $20 Wi-Fi range extender. It works, and if you're on a budget, I definitely recommend picking this up, but probably go for just a higher performance one. If you like this video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Link to this will be down below. That's all for this video. This is Mark, and I'll see you in the next one.